Hey everybody, welcome back. And this is undefined for the variable section of module zero. The embedded video is going to show up here. And so what is undefined? Consider the following code. And as I said previously, consider the following code usually means go ahead and copy that, bring it over either to the console or to Replit. I'm going to bring it over to Replit and paste it in there. Now consider it usually means to run, so I'm going to clear the previous output and hit run. So we get undefined in the space where we log something to the console, and then again we're returning the last value from this as undefined, and largely we're going to not consider this as being particularly important. We're going to look at this. So it logged undefined to the console, which means that the value of declaration is undefined. That's its value. So if we come back here, uh, we've logged undefined to the console. So when you say variable declaration, this, we're essentially telling this section of code keep a name called declaration, but don't assign anything to it yet. So what happens is, is that declaration is available for use, but when you check what its value is, it's going to remain undefined. And the reason is because we actually haven't assigned it any particular values yet. So JavaScript handles that by automatically giving it a default value of undefined. Now, if you've done any research by yourself or if you're coming from another place, you might have heard something about null. We're going to skip null for now. You want to keep in mind that null exists that it is something that's part of JavaScript programming, but we're not going to really care about it just for now. So as we said in the previous lessons, we're going to introduce something, a data type. Now we're going to talk about a function that makes use of that data type. So let's think about a couple things. Functions usually return a value. The function after running returns something. So if you run a function, it's going to return something. That's a default case. Uh, if we don't tell it what to return, it's going to return undefined. So let's go ahead and consider the following function, which again means go ahead over to REPL and paste it in there. So first we declare a function that takes no parameters, does nothing, and returns nothing. So no parameters, doesn't do anything, and doesn't return anything. On line 6 we're creating a variable called return value, and we're going to assign it to a call to nothing. So again, this is the definition of the function, this is a call to the function. So this line calls the function, assigns the value to return value. Then we're going to console.log return value. So if you run this code in a console, which is what we're doing, or REPL, uh, you can see that return value is undefined. So we're going to clear the console output and run it. Same thing, we get undefined. And that's because nothing, when called, returns undefined by default. So that's pretty much it for undefined, at least for now. So what we're going to do is jump down to a coding challenge. So uh, we will start with a walkthrough, get you started, blah, blah, blah. These coding challenges are largely what's going to occupy your time for almost the entire rest of the course, as we've said. So for this one, we have a relatively simple task ahead of us. Our function already returns nothing by default, and that's what we want it to do. So all we need to do is just click Run Tests. Now, it tells us, hey, it returns undefined, and it says that it's correct. All this is going to represent for you is a walkthrough of what you will eventually do in later problems. Now in later problems, there'll be something that we should likely write here as code to complete the definition of the function. And as we said, when we click run test, it's going to run your function and ensure that it does what it ought to in any scenario that it needs to. But for now, we've done everything we need to because we didn't need to do anything, just click run test. And that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching this uh, video. We're going to go into Booleans in the next lesson. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.